This toxicology module is taken by approximately 50 third year pharmacology students and a number of international students. Toxicology can involve lists of drug names, lists of drug targets and their effects, resulting in a tendency of the class towards a surface learning approach involving rote learning. It was clear that deeper learning with improved student engagement was needed. A redesign of the module took place, moving from a traditional lecture-based approach with an end of semester exam to an active learning approach fully assessed in semester. The new design includes one group and one individual project and laboratory practicals with a few supporting lectures. You're sitting with a group, it's definitely much more enjoyable because there's a social aspect to it too. You're not just depending on your own learning, like it's the group project and you're helping each other. I feel like by working with your peers as well, you learn a lot more because then you can like explain things to them, they can explain things to you in a way like I don't think a lecture will always. You're not just learning a set of lecture notes or you're not going to lectures every day and drilling home the same, same points and broad information. Uh, you get to study the things that interest you with yourselves. Inspired by problem-based learning, the group work component involves reversal of lecturer student roles. Students research and develop learning tools for use by their peers. Now they talk to each other about the topic, actively engaging with the content instead of rote learning. This peer-to-peer -peer learning facilitates social interaction and creates a more inclusive environment for international and mature students. The group work is important in developing the teamwork skill set required in fourth year and beyond. The challenge for the group is to develop a learning aid to teach the fundamentals of organ-specific toxicology. The students are encouraged to be creative and are free to work in any media. For example, film, board games, poster, wiki, app, podcasts. The learning aid should convey the key points regarding toxicity in a particular organ, using at least three major toxins. Students work in assigned groups in an active learning environment to develop their learning tools in consultation with the lecturer. Completed projects such as board games, computer games, wikis, web pages and online quizzes are shared among the class. Since the introduction of the redesigned module, we have found that students are highly engaged and show more interest in the topic compared to traditional delivery format. I felt it was very interactive, um, far more interactive than being sitting in a lecture hall all day and just having an exam at the end. It, it encourages you to, to research, to, to build something, to innovate, to do something different. Our course is designed at sending people into research, so you need innovation, you need to be able to think for yourself. And this sets groups off to do their own thing and really have that freedom to make something new. In other modules we just attend lectures and your attention span it just sort of turns off after a while whereas here it's much more active. I like being able to bring the fact that I like doing art, I like building things into it. Um, I was able to build the model. It's completely different to just learning from a lecturer. It allows you to take your, your skills from something else, something that normally wouldn't relate and put it into science. Prior to the redesign, attendance was typically 50% or even lower, and this improved to close to 100% at the group work sessions. Students welcome the freedom and opportunity for creativity, something they don't often experience in a science degree, and they now develop many softer skills such as project planning, time management, writing and communication skills. As educators, we appreciate what they value in learning tools, for example, interactivity, visual and audio aids, online quizzes, mobile access, use of Facebook and wikis as e-learning environments. The creativity, engagement and improved outcomes of students has surprised and inspired us. <laughs>